This is what we call the Nvari tech in KZT and SKZ. It allows players to push themselves away from ladders up to a maximum of 10 units. This can be very useful in some situations and allow a player to pass obstacles or make jumps much easier. It was discovered by a player named Danvari back in late 2017 while he was messing around ladders. What makes this tech so powerful is that you can get offset mid-air. Offset in this context being the distance between you and the face of the ladder. To do it, go on a ladder, look into it, hold your forward key while looking at an angle that will cause you to barely move, and finally, hold your jump key for a split second. Doing those steps correctly should look something like this. Up until the start of 2023, the stack was thought to be exclusive to KZT and SKZ, until Zero found a way to do it, albeit inconsistently. With the help of Dylight, a consistent way was found that same day, and Danvari on Vanilla was born. Turns out, Danvari Tech is one of the results of the 0.2 seconds ladder mechanic that also makes ladder gliding possible. Before Danvari Tech, people used Vest Tech to get offset on ladders in vanilla. It has two main variants, one with and one without teleports, more on that later. However, the downside is that the player needs a standable surface close to the ladder to make it possible. Being able to get offset mid-air opened new possibilities, and possibilities there were many. This discovery was game-changing, making Beyond V2 possible, and dropping the vanilla difficulty of several other maps, all within the following couple of weeks. It allowed players to get up to about 10 units closer to where they wanted to go, making jumps thought to be impossible possible, and making hard jumps easier. Grabbing a ladder while holding a direction key will cause you to get a random offset up to about 2 units. Getting as close as possible to the ladder is critical for Dunvari Tech to work on vanilla. Therefore, you need to do what we call a late grab or deep grab to get as close as possible to the ladder. To do this, you just need to hit the ladder first while not holding any direction key, then grab it so that you have an offset of 0. This will be important for the next part, which is how to actually Danvari Tech on Vanilla. You can Danvari Tech in two ways, either with a TP bind or with precise timing. Using the bind makes it easier to get maximum offset, but since it uses checkpoints and teleports, it is not usable during pro runs. Having the Shopus plugin or any plugin that allows you to know your position is critical to know your exact offset on the ladder. The first step is to get zero offset on the ladder by hitting it first without holding any direction keys, then grabbing it. This is also known as a late grab or deep grab. Once you have zero offset, Look directly up or down and approximately parallel to the ladder. Climb and finally hold your jump key for a split second while climbing. If you do it correctly, it should look something like this. Note that you cannot do this with jump on scroll since you need to hold your jump key for several ticks. To use it, just get on the ladder and press the bind. That's about it. It will automatically jump, set a checkpoint, and TP back to the checkpoint for you. Shout out Foxy for this one. Jumping off a ladder launches you at 270 units per second. Since the game works in small time intervals called ticks, you will move about 2.11 units every tick, or 270 divided by 128 units. 
This is where the bind comes in handy, as it allows you to be pushed out for one tick only, pushing you 2.11 units every time you use it. Sure enough, the theory checks out and we get pushed out by approximately 2.11 units every time the bind is used. Since 10 is not divisible by 2.11, it's the reason why simply spamming the bind will not give you the 10 units of maximum offset. Therefore, to get this maximum offset, your initial position, or offset in our case, needs to be such that a multiple of 2.11 plus your initial position must be equal to the zero offset position plus 10 units. In practice, getting maximum offset requires precise lineups and this is not always feasible. Therefore, you will have to settle for slightly less in most cases, about 0.05 units less. Vesk tech is a way to get offset on a ladder using the ground. It was found by Vesk in the same time period in late 2017. The neat thing was that it also worked on vanilla and was the only known way to get offset on ladders at the time. Despite the limitations, the applications were massive. All you have to do to Vesk tech is to grab the ladder, look down, and climb up and down, touching the ground each time. Blade grabbing the ladder is useful because it allows you to be pushed out by around 9.5 units by touching the ground repeatedly. A superior version is to use teleports to Vesk Tech, or as I like to call it, Vesk TP Tech. As the name suggests, it uses teleports to allow a player to get offset on a ladder. All you gotta do is find a zero offset coordinate go about 10 units away from it, set a checkpoint, climb on the ladder, and then finally TP back to your checkpoint. TPing back will cause you to automatically grab the ladder. On Pro, you can just go to spectators and come back instead of using checkpoints and teleports. Just touch the ladder, go 10 units away, go to spectators and come back. TP Vesk Tech exploits the way the KZ plugin puts the player on a ladder upon teleporting. This only works in KZ and not in typical competitive gameplay. People in the past have accidentally done Danvari Tech but could not find a way to reproduce it. All it took was a 5 head code reader and a yellow duck to have a breakthrough. A discovery of Danvari Tech on vanilla might have been the biggest since ladder gliding, having more applications and forever changing ladders in vanilla map running.